Hello and welcome to Tara's Daily Insight. My name is Mitchell and it is Saturday, March the 23rd, 2013. And I want to set the intention for you and for me that we would receive confirmation, guidance, healing, better connection and intuitive work with our higher self, with source, with God. I also set the intention that you would resonate, operate and vibrate in the highest possible frequency of love that you can today and be in alignment and harmony with source and your authentic self. So with all that being said, let me dive into the cards. Um, it's so weird how sometimes it, that, that light flickers back and forth. If I do my eyes like this, I look weird. So uh, it's another early morning. Actually, it's not so early as that it's just very overcast and cloudy, so I had to adjust even more lights. Um, I am getting my hair cut today, Ember. It will be a lot shorter tomorrow. So diving in, oh, I just dropped half the deck. So diving in and our card for today, our queen of coins. Um, really, really like her a lot. She is our youngest queen. Um, dun -dun -dun -dun. Where is our queen? So, but she is our youngest queen in the deck. And it's interesting that for the fact that she is kind of the mother of all mothers in the sense of her being young and um, because coins represent family, resource, finance, um, abilities even. She's actually, when I do my reading, she's actually um, quite a good soul. Um, she is quite intuitive, as you can see with the, the light coming out of her third eye. So that's kind of unusual, I think, for her, especially for... Um, you know, being the earth symbol, um, you know, very Mother Earth that oriented the green and the growing and everything like that. But uh, just beautiful. I love her red hair, et cetera, et cetera. So with her today, what I'm seeing is um, people who would be considered young in their field, if you will, start. I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of young women at their desks creating their new jobs, their new lives, um, internet businesses. Um, doing even homework, working towards that business and that new life. Um, and what I'm hearing is, for those of you who are questioning, is this the right direction? If you have to ask, I'm going to say I'm hearing it's not. If you know without a doubt the direction you're going in is the right direction, then you're not going to ask. You're, this is your confirmation that it is the right direction. I'm hearing that there's there's more than one, several of you, and this will this will apply to a broad range, it feels, but there are many of you that are headed down a road and we'll call that road, you know, oh gosh, I can't even I can't even think of an example, but you're heading down a road that is about an area, but it's 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 the right area, but like the wrong modality. And a good example would be um, say you're heading down the road to be a, um, uh, a, you know, a clinical therapist with your master's degree, where what I would see is almost like the ultimate goal is that you're going to help people and heal people, but that path feels restricted, where if you stepped into, say, like a life coaching role or even an intuitive like myself, then the path is not quite so restricted. It's a broader path. I hope that makes sense because the vision that I'm seeing um, is I'm trying to get it out. This is one of the challenges of psychics and intuitives to get the vision out sometimes. Now, and it's so interesting because today it's all vision for me. I'm not hearing too much. I'm just getting great visions. Um, I'm also getting a nice vision that right as I'm saying this, the sun is rising, the veil is lifting, the darkness is drifting away gently and carefully. So much more confirmation and signs. Um, so be good to yourself today, Queen of Coins, and this could be guys, um, you know, as you work towards creating a new business. And I will say this, it feels like people who are doing something for the very first time versus you've had like three different, four different type of jobs in your life. You may have had one stay at home mom young enough that you just came out of college or something. So it feels like a very first time kind of career kind of job. Um, if only maybe one that was just something very simple and basic, like, you know, just front and desk service line where it wasn't what I would call a career. 
where you had a you know that large purpose even though my opinion is my life is my career and this is all part of it so all that being said um, if you want to get I'm gonna put my link right later and if you click on that it'll take you right to my website where you can sign up for my email list because I will be emailing something out at the end of next week and I'll be doing a special day and it will be a special rate and I'm saying this so I'm gonna have to do it but uh, I've just got to figure out when it's gonna be where I will have like 15 minute call-ins um, and everybody will just be booked every 15 20 minutes so click